The Hebrew University of Jerusalem. Preserving memory. Building Israel. Changing the world. The university was imagined and founded by some of the greatest thinkers of their time as an expression of Jewish unity through Zionism. This institution of research and scholarship represents a spiritual bond encompassing the Jews in all countries. Today, Hebrew University humanities scholars are the curators and guardians of the shared legacy of layers upon layers of history in Israel. The university has the mandate, the responsibility for taking care, like in the Department of Archaeology, to revive the physical memory of a people. And Hebrew University scientists are pushing back the frontiers of the future. In its less than 100 years, the Hebrew University of Jerusalem has become one of the leading institutions in the entire world. The leading university in Europe is Oxford. And the second is the Hebrew University of Jerusalem. So you do not have any doubt why a medicine for Alzheimer is, is developed here, a medicine for cancer is developed here, a medicine for Parkinson's is developed here. The Hebrew University of Jerusalem is Israel's oldest and includes the country's only faculty of agriculture and veterinary school. In spectacular scenic settings, Hebrew University researchers are working to solve some of the most important challenges facing Israel and the world. Blindness afflicts 45 million people worldwide. It is the most feared of human disabilities. I can feel the intense vibrations. Researchers at Hebrew University are training blind people to see, not with their eyes, but by substituting other senses. Yeah, you found me. Great. So ultimately, it's not your eyes that see, it's the brain that creates this image, and that's what we're trying to achieve with these devices. Some blind people are now able to distinguish facial characteristics in the laboratory through this technology. And interpreting printed text is on the drawing board. Bats or dolphins can learn to navigate just using the sounds and they don't need vision in order to do it. So in a way we're trying to imitate this uh, in order to try and help blind individuals. Israel has been forced to close many of its urban freshwater wells because of industrial contamination. Hebrew University scientists have discovered how to filter contaminated well water using specially modified clay, inexpensive and abundant. Clay is very, very cheap, 0 0.5 cents per ton, and uh, we put the clay inside of a column and we pass through the contaminated water and the water that comes out is filtered and clean. I hope our solutions that we write in papers and in patents will be able to help the worldwide problem of uh, water quality. Parkinson's disease afflicts millions and today is incurable. But a surgical procedure called adaptive deep brain stimulation, pioneered at the Hebrew University, can mitigate the disease's symptoms. It operates like a pacemaker for the brain, controlling tremors and giving patients a new lease on life. We can only imagine what other brain disorders might be treated with it in the future. We are very excited about this new technique of adaptive deep brain stimulation. We believe it offers better treatment for patients with Parkinson's disease, but moreover, this technique could be used for other brain disorders, like schizophrenia and depression, that we today don't have a very good treatment for them. And this is our dream for the future. What happens when you combine the imagination of a biologist with that of a nanoscientist? you get tiny solutions made from plants that create colossal advances in computer science. The work together is enabling both of us to do things that none, none of us could do uh, by himself, neither in performance nor in thinking. We envisage that one will be able to store on a tiny little memory device, which is as small as few millimeters, all the information that is today on Earth created by human. And therefore, if one will have this memory device in his BlackBerry or iPhone, he will not need to communicate 
to the net to get the information because all the information will be here. So the only thing that you will use the communication is just for updates. From the beginning, the Hebrew University was established as an international university. We see our mission and our contribution in terms of what will it bring to humanity. The Hebrew University of Jerusalem, for Israel and the world. Preserving yesterday, strengthening today, and imagining the wonders of tomorrow.